Okay, I've been asked by request to show how I um, cross pollinate my tomatoes to make new varieties. I showed that in a couple of videos a couple of years ago, and um, I'll do a quick vid on uh, how I do it. Now the first I need, I don't know what kind of eyesight you have, but I need a couple of um, a couple of uh, glasses, and I need a glass from um, uh, sunglasses. You can use a spoon or a black plastic or something, and a tweezer with a sharp point. I put this string up in the roof so I with a loop on so I can put my hand through it so I can keep my hand steady. And then I'll put on my two glasses. Sometimes I use three as well because I I'm getting this old man eye syndrome. <laughs> okay, first of all, I need to take um, tomato flower that's not opened yet, and this is a good stage just before it opens. And I will demask it. You got these outer leaves here, and I'm gonna take those away first, and I curl them backwards and take them off. I just hope you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just using my cell phone here. Okay, I save one or two of those green leaves behind here so I've got something to hold, hold in. And this flower, it has its petals here, and then I loosen the petals, pull them backwards, curl them back, and they go right off. But it's very quick to damage this, so you need a couple of times to learn it. Now we got these inner petals. There are some holes here at the bottom at the base. I tried to put the tweezer in between there. And you can use a needle or you can use a toothpick or something sharp. I'm just cutting off the base of these inner leaves and then I Pull them out like that. That was one. Try not to take this middle. What what do you call it in English? You say Griffin Norwegian. That you got in the middle. And here's what it looks like when it's uh, demasked and you got this thingy out here I usually leave this for one day and then I take pollen from another plant and um, I put I can show it here if you can see here I put this glass underneath the flower from the variety I want to use in the cross and I just shake it above this glass and then I get the pollen inside here you can uh, use an electric toothbrush or something also and all the pollen will fall down here and then I take this I think it's called stigma or something 
and I put the edge on it, the tip, down in the bowl. Try not to break it because they are very fragile. Like that. Now that flower is pollinated. So I uh, done uh, something similar yesterday. I took um, a crossing I got F1 yesterday, D mask like this, and uh, I'm gonna back cross it with one of the mother plants. So it, now it's just to wait and uh, see if if the pollinating uh, takes, and you'll get a tomato here. Take out the seeds, process them, and uh, store them until next year, and then sow them, and then you got a F1 cross. Thank you. Bye.